Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Look MRI, and this is a video on how to read an MRI of the abdomen. I'm just going to go over some anatomy and show you what an MRI abdomen looks like, and then show you how I run through it to make sure I don't miss anything. So this is a view we're looking straight at the abdomen. It's like you're looking back at the person. They're facing you, and up here in the middle is the heart, and the heart has flowing blood in it. Anything that's dark is flowing blood or air. So right here is the right heart. Here's the left heart, and that dark stuff is the flowing blood in there. And you can see the left heart has a much thicker wall. The muscle is much uh, thicker here. It pumps the blood that goes out through this. This is the outflow tract, the aorta, thoracic, uh, the thoracic aorta. You can see it contracts, and blood squirts out here. And so we look at the heart size. This bright stuff around here is pericardial fat. It's just normal. Some people have a whole lot of it. Some people don't have much at all. And this is the right lung that's filled with air, which is dark. Here's the left lung filled with air. We make sure there's no mass or pneumonia. Then we slide down here and look at the liver up in the right upper quadrant. And then we have, below the liver, we have the gallbladder here. On this view, we just happen to catch this little skinny thing here, this little uh, common bile duct. So this drains the bile the, off of the liver and gallbladder. The gallbladder will contract, and it'll fill this up with the bile, and it comes down here, and it spills into this. This is the duodenum. This is the duodenal C loop, they call it. It looks like a C. And the bright stuff is fluid within the duodenal lumen. And again, this bile comes down, and it leaks out into here, helping to digest the food. And then this is the stomach, part of the stomach over here. And over here, you can see all these intestines floating around here. These are the small intestines. The large intestine, part of it's over here. And if we roll backwards, we can see the abdominal aorta coming down here. You can see the renal arteries, right renal artery coming off, left renal artery coming off. This is the right kidney. Over here we have the left kidney. It looks like a bean. So we look at the kidneys to make sure there's no mass. And these areas that are bright here, these are the renal pelvises. They're big. We call this extra renal pelvis, just a normal finding. This is the inferior vena cava here. You can see it filled with a dark flowing blood. And then we go on to another view. This is, by the way, the pancreas, pancreatic head comes up around, here's the body, and it comes over here to the left side, tail, so it's, pancreas is really long, oh, I forgot about this important structure up here, this is the spleen, well, let's look at the spleen, it kind of looks like the liver, but on the other side, and smaller, and the adrenal glands are up here above the kidneys, we'll see them better on another view. Again, we have multiple other views, this is just one where the fat is dark, and then we go to this view here, this is, we're looking through the same anatomy, here's the front, Here's the back now. Here's the right side, left side. This is called an axial image, and we're slicing through the patient, kind of like slicing through a loaf of bread. So here's one slice up high. You can see the heart again. You can see the left side has that thick muscle. The right side has a thinner muscle. And then here's the aorta coming out of the chest, the bottom of the chest, about to go into the abdomen. Here's that inferior vena cava again, the right and left lungs. Now we're going to come down through the abdomen. We're going to look again the liver on the right side. Spleen on the left side. The liver is over here. You can see a little cyst, this little white thing. They're very common, almost always benign, little incidental cyst. As we come down, we can see the stomach here filled with fluid. Fluid is white, so you can see the white fluid. A little fluid level. You can see dark air and fluid. Stomach looks normal. As we keep coming down, we can see part of the pancreas here. You can even see the pancreatic duct, which is a little thin band here. Make sure the duct's not enlarged. Make sure there's no pancreatic lesion. Here's the gallbladder. We look for gallstones, look for wall thickening. Looks good. This little dot here is the common bile duct. We had seen that on the other one, but we measure that, make sure it's not too large and it looks completely normal. And then we go to the left kidney here, go to the right kidney here. They're looking great. Here's the abdominal aorta again. You can see the vein of the kidney on the left here coming across, and it plugs right into the inferior vena cava, draining the blood away from the um, kidney. Now we're going to go above the kidneys to look at those adrenal glands. So if we go up, up, here this little bitty tiny linear thing is part of the left adrenal gland. And the right adrenal gland is here. They're usually really tiny. They make like an upside down V, a little Star Trek symbol. But uh, there's no adrenal mass. They look good. Here's part of the pancreas over here again. The pancreatic tail over here on the left hand side. Now we just keep on rolling down through and make sure there are no enlarged lymph nodes. Look at all the intestines. Make sure there's no dilated loops of bowel. And then the abdominal fat, make sure it's not infiltrated, there's no fluid. And so this is how we read an MRI of the abdomen.